Hello everyone, how are you today? So today we are starting the first lesson in chapter 13. Chapter 13 is all about measurement. So you need to prepare your ruler because we will be using it a lot. Today's lesson is a hands-on lesson. So prepare your ruler because we will find some parameters. First, let's discover what is a parameter. A parameter is the distance around the outside of a figure or a shape. So if I have here a square or a rectangle, how can I find the parameter of this rectangle? I find the parameter by measuring the distance around the outside from here using of course my ruler. I'm gonna measure this side, then this side, then this side, then finally the last side. And I'm going to add all the numbers of the four sides. The answer is my parameter. We can always estimate and measure the parameter. Now I want you to open page 753 in your book and let's go through and let's measure some things together. In order to complete that below table, we need to first estimate the parameter in centimeters of a piece of a notebook paper and all the other things listed in your book. And then we will record the results in the table. Then the second step, we will use a centimeter ruler to find the parameter to the nearest centimeter. Find the length of each side, then we will add the side lengths. Then we will record again in the below table. The third and final step is to repeat steps one and two for each of the objects listed in the table. I'm going to be using a paper, a piece of paper, my math book. Just remember, my math book is bigger than yours. So if my measurements were bigger than your measurements, it's okay. I will not be using a desktop. I will use a notebook. I will measure a notebook. And finally, I will not use a whiteboard. I will use a mouse pad. Okay, so these are my four objects that we will be measuring today with you. If you want to measure other things, you can measure them and write them in your book and show them to me, of course, on Class Dojo. So the first step again is to estimate the parameter. My estimate for the piece of paper, I think it might be 20 centimeters. For the math book, the math book, my math book is bigger than the paper, so it might be 30 centimeters. Uh, for the notebook, I think it will, my notebook is very small, I think it will be 15. And finally, the mouse pad, it's almost the same like the, ma the notebook, let's say it will be 17. Now, let's go and measure them together. Here we have two rulers that I've assigned to you on Hill account. I've printed them and used them to measure all the things. You can use your own ruler or you can print these rulers and use them. These two rulers, what's the difference between them? The first one here, it's very specific. It's divided into 10 equal parts. However, the other ruler, it's only divided into halves. So between each number, from 0 to 1 it's divided into half and from 1 to 2 it's divided into half I will be using this ruler to measure all my objects we will start with the piece of paper remember we need to find the parameter so we will measure all the distance around the paper we will start by measuring side by side remember you have to start with 0 here this side is 31 centimeters the next side, remember you have to start from zero. This side is 22 centimeters. Let's measure the next side. The next side, remember to start from zero. It's also 31 centimeters. And finally, the last part is 
again start from zero it's also 22 centimeters now let's add all the sides that we've got to find the parameter we got 31 plus 22 plus 31 plus 22 so what is the total number 106 centimeters so the actual measurement of a piece of paper the parameter of the piece of paper is 106 actually 20 is only one side it's almost one side of the paper so parameter is adding all the sides now let's go quickly and measure all the other items we're measuring our second object which is the math book we measured all the sides then we will measure the notebook again we are measuring all the sides of the notebook and finally the mouse pad we measure all the sides of the mouse pad then we add all the measurements that we got of each object together and find the actual parameter of all the objects now after we've got all the actual measurements of the parameter i want you to go and do the, the same steps but in inches using the inches centimeters you will also find an inches ruler on your macro hill account you will try all these steps on page 754 but you will do it in inches if you don't know how to measure your desktop or you don't have a whiteboard to measure you can always put another items that you've measured using your ruler but remember you need to measure the same items in centimeters and in inch now let's open page 755 and go through questions number four and six together so you will need to solve questions five seven and eight i'll be doing now with you questions four and six question four is asking you to estimate the parameter of the figure in centimeters the parameter in centimeters remember first we need to estimate what do you think the estimate of this figure i think it might be 10 centimeters you can put your own estimate now let's measure the actual when i measured the first side it was four centimeters this side was three centimeters remember in a rectangle the opposite sides are equal so this side is also four centimeters and this side is also three centimeters now let's add all the sides together to find the actual parameter three plus three plus four plus four equals 14 centimeters so the actual measurement of this rectangle the actual parameter is 14 centimeters now solve number five by yourself moving to number six this time the question is asking us to measure the parameter in inches remember inches is not like centimeters inches is larger than centimeter one inch is about it's it's not equal it's about two or three centimeters so an inch is bigger than the centimeter now first so let's estimate the parameter of this figure in inches i think that um each side might be half an inch so one half that's one two maybe two or three inches maybe it's three inches okay now let's find the actual using an inch ruler i discovered that each side is one inch remember this shape this shape all the sides are equal so all the sides are one so we'll be adding one how many times one two three four five so let's add them one plus one plus one plus one plus one five times is five inches 
Now go and solve question number seven and eight by yourself.